Hi, welcome to Digital Principles and System Design. In this video lecture, let's discuss about Carnot map using product of sum. That is minimizing Boolean expressions using Carnot maps. And the result of the simplification will be in product of sum. This procedure is very similar to the simplification using Carnot map with min terms. Instead of min terms, we are going to use max terms and the size of the Carnot map and the way we group the uh, max terms and the way we write the result all are similar to how we use the Carnot map with min terms. Let's see an example and see how we can use the Carnot map and write the simplified result using product of sum. Let's minimize this function. This is this example is same as that of the one that we have seen with minimizing the function boolean function with min terms. So here since we are going to write the result in terms of product of sum we are not interested in the ones but we are interested in the zeros. So when we wanted to group the zeros okay I can group these four zeros together and these four zeros together and we can get the result like since all these four uh, combinations will be varying the values of a and b the constant things are only c and d since c and d takes values 0 and 0 in max term this will appear as normal term so this will appear as c plus d and here also a b values are varying across all four rows and c d values remain to be 1 0 so c will appear as complemented form since it takes the value 1 and d will appear in the normal form so it is c dash plus d dash but we know that these two columns are adjacent to each other when we fold the um, map in the vertical manner so I need not group these four zeros and these four zeros separately but we can group all these eight zeros together and form a single block. Thus we can group these two blocks together and to write the terms all a b's are varying and with c d c d in this column is 0 0 and in this column it is 1 0 and what is common is only this 0 because c is varying from 0 to 1. So d will appear in the product term and you can notice that when we group these four ones together and these four ones together we had c plus d and uh, c bar plus d okay so we had two uh, max terms and each max terms had two literals in this but when we group eight zeros together the number of max terms are also reduced instead of two max terms we now have only one max term and the number of literals in the max term is also reduced instead of two we have only one max term now the left out zeros are these two zeros and these two zeros let's now try to combine the, these two zeros when we combine these two zeros what do we get this is common for these two columns so we will get a bar because a is taking the value 1 plus b along the row and along the column we have c to be d to be 1 so we will have a bar plus b plus d bar that will be the term but should we need to group only these two zeros together and get this max term not necessary because I have zeros in the adjacent cells and we know that x plus x is equal to x and we can exploit this and we can group all these four zeros together and form a bigger block although these two zeros are already covered in the covered in some group okay we can just reuse these cells 
thereby we get here along these four columns C and D will be completely varying only A B remains to be 1 0 so the max term corresponding to 1 0 for the variables A and B will be A bar plus B the left out zeros are only these two things but we need not group these two things together but we can group these four zeros together and get the reduced max term how do we write the max term along these two columns so, uh, along these two rows only a is constant and a takes the value of 0 so a will appear as a plus along the column we have c to be 1 so we will get c bar so the final simplified expression will be d into a bar which is and operation a bar plus b and a or c bar so this is the simplified expression of this boolean uh, function in product of sum the same procedure applies with uh, simplification using don't care as well if we have don't care terms okay we can use them only to make the blocks of zeros bigger otherwise we need not worry about the don't care uh, max terms and in the next video lecture we will discuss about one more simplification procedure called queen mcclaskey method which can deal the reduction of or simplification of boolean expressions which have large number of variables when the number of variables involved in the boolean expression is more than four it is difficult for us to use the Carnot map in such cases we can go go with queen mcclaskey method and thank you for watching this video